Hi guys, Felix here from 4 Minutes or Less. Today I'm going to be talking about my Louis Vuitton black dress shoes. I'm generally not a fan of Louis Vuitton. I do like these shoes though, and I get into all my Louis Vuitton whatever in the description below in the blog post. But we'll talk about the shoes for the video, we'll talk about what I like, what I don't like, and we'll go from there. So first of all, black dress shoes are always incredibly boring. Like there's really, there's really not a lot to black dress shoes. I mean, you can put on a buckle, you can do some fancy leathers or material, but they're just, they're just so boring, there's not a lot to them. So the reason I got these is they kind of have that Louis Vuitton monogram check thing. There's that little metal insert at the heel. It just adds a little something to an otherwise boring shoe. I mean, just picking it up here, in terms of the build quality, it's fine. I mean, it's definitely better than Prada or Ferragamo or anything like that. You saw me poking at the toe box and the, uh, the heel counter, and it's a very well solid made shoe. I mean, Louis Vuitton, although I generally don't like them, they do finish seams very well, and they generally do a good job. The leather itself is pretty good too. I mean, you saw the fronts there. There wasn't really a lot of wrinkling or cracking or anything like that. I've had these for about two years now, and I maybe wear them, you know, once, maybe twice a week. And they felt up pretty well. It's just, you know, you gotta take care of them. I like that metal insert there. I think that's, it's a really nice thing. And it's, you don't really see that walking around. Like no one's really looking at the back of your heel. So maybe if someone takes a second look or they're really examining them, then you kind of see that. It's a nice little added something. The back here, they have this kind of reverse pyramid triangle thing. And on a lot of shoes, when there's a seam at the back, you kind of have to have a, I guess you want to call it a reinforcement leather strip that's usually just around the top lip of the shoe and that kind of keeps all the the lining and everything together and provides additional reinforcement so the shoe doesn't split. So I like that detail they have there. It's just a nicer way of doing it as opposed to just a blank rectangle. The toes have a pretty good shape too. I mean, they're not too pointed, they're not too rounded. This is personally what I like, but again, this is all preference. The toe does have a bit of an inflection though. You kind of see me running my hand along that. It kind of lifts up. Uh, don't like it, don't dislike it. It's That's all personal preference, really. Although the inside lining is really nice. That's uh, objectively, I have to say, it's it was good. You can see me kind of squeezing the shoe here. That's to show you how stiff that heel counter is. Or heel, whatever you want to call it. It's the inside stiffener between the outside upper and the inside lining. And that really provides a lot of support for the shoe. I find this a very well-made shoe. A nice little added feature you see on more expensive shoes, or you should anyway, is this top beading here in between the upper and the lining, and that just kind of makes the shoe overall more polished. Louis Vuitton does that, which I like. Prada and Ferragamo, I find their quality isn't as good for the price, and they generally don't do that. Uh, Blake, stitched, Blake Stitched Sole, they have a rubber pad on it. I like it, I mean, it keeps the, the shoe you know, from wearing out too much or from getting water in there a lot of the time. So, I mean, some people will complain and say, hey, good year, welted or nothing. I like the Blake Stitch personally. It just makes a sleeker shoe. Tying them up here, I mean, they're really easy, comfortable shoes. The nice thing with Louis Vuitton is they always give you the nice extras. So these bags for the shoes, I just find far superior to every other bag I have. I mean, I have a Prada one that broke. I mean, just anything by Prada is garbage for the most part. Uh, just showing you here what the box looks like. It comes with Sort of a booklet saying how to care for it, don't wear your shoes too often, uh, extra laces, that kind of stuff, bill receipt, all that. So I mean, overall, these are really nice shoes. Considering they're black dress shoes, they have a little something to that, and I like that a lot. Otherwise, <laughs> black dress shoes are just so boring. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next week.